Tally ho there ladies and gentlemen and today I'll be looking at easily the most powerful laptop and most expandable laptop I have ever reviewed Asus 17 inch printer gaming laptop so here it is the predator 17 inch laptop as you can see it is a big laptop there's no escaping that it is a gaming laptop though when you open it up as you see it lights up the printer logo lights up and you have two red illumination strips here you have the ventilation at the back there two exhaust vents it's all soft touch so it feels really nice to touch turn it around and you'll see this gorgeous 17 inch screen it's really good i'll get to that later it really makes gaming immersive you have a really good gaming keyboard with macro keys here you have these faux speaker vents or exhaust vents it just makes it look cool but they don't actually do anything underneath you have the intake vents you have the four rubber feet here four speakers and two subwoofers it feels really solid it's big yes but a 17 inch gaming laptop is going to be big but it feels really robust solid soft touch gives it a nice feel and overall as far as gaming laptops go it is definitely built as good as if not better than most gaming laptops as for the look of the predator 17 i guess it's in the eye of the beholder there sort of all gaming laptops have this sort of transformer muscle car look so either you like that or you don't but pretty much every gaming laptops like this moving on to ports on the left hand side we have a dvd drive and you can swap that over this piece of kit here it's a frost core so you can take out the dvd drive in put in the frost core and it gives you extra cooling performance you have a sd card slot microphone headphone jack two usb 3 ports and then you have the power ac jack there on the other side you have the kensington lock a killer ethernet port display port out hdmi two usb 3 ports and most importantly here you have the thunderbolt 3 port it's great expandability and great future proof in there so open her up and you have this soft touch finish on the palm rest here it feels really good as you can probably see here you will get fingerprints marked i do not have greasy hands that's just this soft touch material does that has a really good keyboard gamers will love this keyboard it's very quiet it illuminates as you can see it's blue on the number pads and it's red on the keys you cannot change the color of the led lights here but you can section off different parts of the keyboard you want to illuminate on the left hand side you have all the macro keys which will give you the gaming edge you can also control them to program fans and so on getting back to the keyboard it's nice it's one of the best keyboards i've used on a laptop great travel it's not loud gamers will love it and you would expect yes you'll be able to fit a number pad on a 17 inch laptop but the way it's designed it doesn't feel like it's off center it just feels really nice and natural and i'm a really big fan of this keyboard moving on to the trackpad you can turn the trackpad on and off with this button here the trackpad is actually really good it's one of the old style sort of trackpads where you have the separate right and left click buttons there the trackpad works really well the gestures work well it's very accurate it feels nice with the soft touch and they've done a great job on the trackpad if you're gaming you're probably not going to use this anyway you're probably going to be using a mouse so it has as i said there has the four speakers underneath there and the subwoofer great sound on this dolby digital really meaty gives you immersive gaming and it's probably one of the first laptops i could probably not use a headset and i'll be really happy with the sound you really feel immersed in the game with this beautiful sound those subwoofers give just give it a bit of grunt it has a real lot of grunt very impressed with the sound it doesn't distort at all the display is a full hd 1080p matte finished ips panel glare is well controlled as you would expect on a matte panel there's virtually no glare it doesn't have nvidia g-sync but you can connect it to a monitor and use g-sync its response times are really good i've never noticed any ghosting i never noticed any lag and the color accuracy is really nice it's vibrant and being a 17 inch screen you really notice the difference you really feel immersed 
and the quality of this panel is right up there so you can probably hear the fans here and that's one downside to this computer the fans are loud but with that you get great cooling and when you game it doesn't throttle and you get the bonus of the frost core here as well so that will increase the sound but but i never had any issues with this throttling anyway so these started for about fifteen hundred dollars in the us in australia about two thousand two hundred this model here will set you back around three thousand just over three thousand australian now this is where this computer comes into its own it is fully loaded this has 32 gigs ram it has the intel skylake quad core i7 processor it has a 4 gigabyte gtx 980m you can get an 8 gigabyte 980m model as well this comes with 256 gigabyte ssd ssd speeds are not that fast you'll get around 500 megabytes per second read and around 300 megabytes per second write so it's not the fastest ssd but you have two slots there you can easily put in a faster one if you want has the 1080p display here and there's also an option of a 4k model killer ethernet and killer wireless wi-fi card so all the top tier gaming specs this has i'll get the performance later but this blows away any laptop i've used so as you'll see once you open up the panel underneath you'll see that you'll have four ram slots so you can use 64 gigabytes of memory you've got two m.2 slots so you can put two m.2 ssds in there and you're also able to put a sata ssd or mechanical two and a half inch hard drive so you've got the thunderbolt you've got two m.2 slots you have up to 64 gigabytes memory this will have you covered for years to come it's so future proof because you can add an external graphics card in the future and all that expandability of being able to use two m.2 ssds and be able to put 64 gigabytes ram in this and the fact that this has a gtx 980 this it just blows me away this can really replace your desktop computer it can be a workstation and it's a beast of a gaming machine and just on the gaming I was able to play Fallout 4 1080p ultra setting 60 frames per second. I actually had to exit Fallout 4 and actually check the settings again because I could not believe that this was playing Fallout 4 at ultra settings at 60 frames per second and it actually was. I couldn't believe it. And just to give you an idea of how good that is, it was actually faster than the Alienware 13 inch with the same desktop processor as this in it with the graphics amplifier connected to it with a GTX 980 in it. This was faster than that. So gaming, this has you covered. Latest titles, ultra settings, 1080p, this is a beast. It has the Thunderbolt 3 port. You'll be able to add graphics amplifiers later on. So future proof, performance, it'll be great for video editing, great for gaming. It can replace your desktop and no laptop I have used has this much power. It actually kills my desktop PC. As I said before, the heat is well suppressed. Even the most extensive gaming session, the machine will not throttle. But the downside to that is the fans are loud. You can add the frost cord too, but even without it, it didn't throttle. So this laptop comes in at 9.2 pounds, so it's nearly four kilos and it's 1.6 inches thick. Thick. so compared to say other gaming laptops it's a little bit heavier but when you think of it these things are desktop replacements it's better than carrying around a tower and we're talking if it's a couple of hundred grams heavier than its competitor it makes no difference they're all big and heavy anyway so i guess other than the size of this computer it's the only really downside is the um, actual noise of the fans the fans are loud and they expel a lot of air and you would expect you can get a lot of dust with such a system but this thing has a dust cleaner and it's called dust defender and what it does is it reverses the fan so you just click on clean now it will reverse the fans and blow out the dust the other way i think that's a really good thing it has a lot of extra features like that the reverse cleaning fans you've got, you've got the frost core it's fully loaded with features and and they really haven't skimped on anything with this laptop so usually gaming laptops don't have great battery life but this one has definitely has decent battery life it has a 90 watt hour battery so it's a big battery the battery power pack is about the size of a mobile phone but an inch thick 
You'll get around five, five and a half, maybe six hours just doing web surfing, productivity, YouTube, those kind of tasks. And if you're gaming, you'll get about one and a half hours, two hours. So all in all, I would say the battery life is definitely serviceable, if not good. So overall, I would just say if you're after a desktop replacement, a workstation PC, gaming laptop, something that's going to be future proof and last you years to come, put this at the top of your list. The only downside I see is the fan noise is loud. But other than that, this is really solid laptop. It just has power to burn. And if I was in the market for a 17-inch laptop or a desktop replacement, I would definitely buy this. Thoroughly recommend it. And that's it. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of the Acer Predator 17-inch gaming laptop. It's a real beast. If you can go and check one out, definitely do so. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And until next time, guys, tally-ho.